Okay, so this goes for all Samsung Galaxy phones. It doesn't matter if you have a Samsung Galaxy Note or like the S series or the J series or the A series. One of the ways you can do a screenshot with all of them is simply by pressing two button combination. It's the power button and the home button, okay? So just like this, press and hold until you hear a click or you can kind of see it. For example, this is a S7. For example, here's another one. This is a S4. Let me just go ahead and screenshot this, um, this lock screen here. Power button, home button. Press both down at the same time. There you go. I'll do it again. Let me do it. Oops. Let me do it again. And now to retrieve it, basically you have to, there's two ways basically you can do it, okay? If you want to retrieve it, you, you just took a screenshot, you can basically scroll down your notifications and you can look for the screenshot that you just took. Here is a screenshot here, so I can tap on that. Screenshot captured, so let me tap on that. And it's in my gallery, click on OK. And then here is my, my screenshot. Uh, right here, okay? Another way to uh, go up and retrieve that screenshot is just go into your uh, galleries. So here's my gallery here. I'm gonna tap on gallery, and there should be a folder in there called um, screenshots. What you have to do is you have to make sure that you go into your gallery and make sure it's under albums, okay? Once it's under albums, it's gonna show you a variety of uh, folders. So uh, here's my screenshots here. Let me click on that. And these are all the screenshots that I've taken um, with this uh, with this phone okay now another thing is too like there is a second way uh, you can do a screenshot which basically is called like a uh, palm swipe and that feature is only available on some of the galaxy phones okay now one more thing I want to point out too so hopefully your home button and your power button is working because that's the fastest way to do it 99% of you guys that's how you can be taking screenshots nobody really uses the palm swipe because it's a pain in the butt Unless, of course, your home button or power button is broke or it's stuck or it's just um, not really uh, responsive, okay? Now, another thing is, too, is some of the phones, like, for example, the Galaxy S7, there's a couple extra things you can do uh, with your screenshot. For example, like, let me just go into my internet here. And let's say you want to take a screenshot of this web page here. And check this out. Like, if I do a screenshot, I'll go ahead and press the power button and the home button again simultaneously. Press and hold. There we go, and then this pops up, capture more, capture more. I am keep on tapping capture more on here. Capture more, okay, and now and capture more again. And this is cool about the S7 because now, I, you know, if I want to retrieve, I can go here, I can tap on screenshot captured, or like I said before, what I can do is I can go into my, uh, my gallery here. Let me go into gallery, oops. So I'm in my gallery, and basically you want to go into your uh, albums here. So go into albums, and you can see a variety of folders here. Again, here's my screenshot. I'm tapping my screenshot now. That screenshot that I just did with the um, uh, on the uh, on my internet, and I check this out. I just captured all these screenshots, you know. So that's pretty cool with the uh, S7 as well as the S7 Edge. You're able to do this as well. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions in regards to uh, screen capturing or taking screenshots. Uh, just comment below. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.